Well, what brings you here today? Uh, I'm very upset with the um, Stupak Kitts amendment that would try to take away uh, protection for abortion and uh, take away health care options for women. Uh, abortions are not done willy-nilly. Uh, most of the time, a woman has spent a lot of time thinking about what has happened in her life, that she's suddenly responsible for the life of another person, and that if you decide you're not ready to do that, then we should honor that, that women know if they're ready to take on the responsibility of raising children, which is a huge, huge, important task in life. And, you know, the children end up suffering. The children end up suffering if the parents don't do the job right. And uh, so to me, we should not be debating this issue. It's been legal for many years, and we should just get on with sculpting uh, laws that protect families and help families in America, not keep arguing the same issue over and over. So. These protesters. I don't know if I'm so good about talking now. But <laughs> <laughs> these protesters across the street yes. are very vocal about protecting these these unborn fetuses. Yes. Uh, but what about the women who are killed from illegal abortions when right. abortion isn't safe, legal, and rare? Right. Uh, where do you think their uh, priority is in terms of this? Oh, I, well, I don't think they think about what's happening to women. So. You know, it's it's not that's not what their focus is. Their focus is on only the fetus, yeah. not but before or after. I mean, it's the women who end up. Uh, I think I said to you, you yeah. know, sacrificing nine, ten months of their lives to bear the child and you know raise the child in utero, and they have to make a decision whether they are willing to give that time and energy to do that. Yeah. I think it's our right to do that. Yeah. How about all the living children who lose their mothers to back alley abortionists? Do you well, think they've thought about them? Oh no, no. I mean, they don't even know what back alley abortions are. I mean, that's so under... Because we've had this history for so many years of having illegal abortions, that's not even brought up really anymore. Um, but I think that... Uh, I don't know. To me, it's a women's rights issue, and it's a, it's a women having some empowerment, and I think that's the big issue for a lot of people who are anti-choice. They don't want women to have power. <laughs> and it's not power to override men, it's power to make a decision about your life and your family and your children, and what do you do with your body. Men never have to make this decision. <laughs> do you think they should be making it for women, men like Joe Pitts? No. Absolutely not. I think that the law got passed in 72, we should just move on from that. And, take, and stop debating. That's I'm frustrated with the fact that we're debating this law over and over and over again when, uh, you know, it, it was passed and it was a good law. I mean, I guess you could say other laws had to be done away with, but to me, this is really an individual, private choice about what women make, you know, what they do with their bodies. So. Do you think it's proper for the government to come in and, and tell you as a woman what you can do with your own body? Do you think that's intrusive? Yes, I do think it's intrusive. No, I don't think that the government should tell you that you, should, you have to have a baby. Right. So, and I do think uh, abortion should be covered under uh, the health care law. Right. Because it is legal. And it is a medical procedure, and it is something that people make a lot of, uh, take a lot of time to think about what are they going to do. And it's women who have to make that decision largely because it is their bodies that are going to be uh, uh, you know, birthing. So. All right, well, thank you very much. Yes.